Imagine you wanted to tell someone about something incredible you saw, maybe at a World's Fair, but the internet didn't exist yet. You'd probably call that person. But what if the telephone didn't exist yet either? Well, in that case, you'd just have to wait for it to debut at a World's Fair. Held in Philadelphia to celebrate the 100th anniversary of America's independence, the Centennial Exposition brought over 10 million people to Philadelphia's Fairmount Park. Remember, that's 10 million people at a time when the total population of the U.S. was less than 50 million. Several inventions debuted at the Centennial, and we'll talk about many of them in upcoming videos. Well, maybe not the world's largest knife and fork. Alexander Graham Bell is credited as the inventor of the telephone. And indeed, he was issued the first U.S. patent for the device. Once Bell created his device, he needed a way to show it off to the world, and the Centennial Exposition of 1876 was the perfect opportunity. Bell and his assistant Thomas Watson successfully tested their phone for the first time on March 10, 1876 in Bell's Boston lab. Just a few months later, the device had its public debut at the fair. But things in Philadelphia didn't get off to a good start. As he mentioned in a letter to his fiancée Mabel, Bell arrived in Philadelphia to discover many pieces of his exhibit had been damaged in transit. But Bell persevered and successfully demonstrated his invention. Those who visited Machinery Hall could see one end of Bell's telephone, and the other end of the connection was, well, at the other end of Machinery Hall. After all, there weren't any telephone lines yet. It's impossible to overstate how the telephone changed life forever, shortening distances, providing for instantaneous communication, and eventually the internet. But before all of that, it was merely a microphone and a receiver placed at separate ends of a building at the Centennial Exposition of 1876. This fair, America's first official exposition, was the site of several other debuts, just like many other fairs. So be sure to check out our other videos, and if you like what you see, please subscribe to learn about the inventions, foods, and more that came from World's Fairs. Thanks for watching.